Well, speaking of summertime and people heading out to vacation with cases of skin cancer on the rise, doctors are emphasizing just how important sunscreen is this summer. Yes, absolutely. Skincare experts call the Friday before Memorial Day. Don't Friday. Kind of a funny way to remind you to lather up before you hit the beaches and the pools. Our Penny Commit joins us now live from the oceanfront. Penny, we know that sunscreen is so important, right? Yeah, Aaron, you're absolutely right. And I mean, in just the next few days, hopefully when the sun comes out, we're going to see a lot of people at this beach just soaking up the sun's rays. But we know that those rays can be a little bit dangerous. So a skincare tip for your Friday morning. Did you know that putting sunscreen on your face is the best way to reduce aging and wrinkles? So definitely get some moisturizer with some SPF out for this weekend. But what about the rest of your body? Well, there's actually two different types of sunscreens and experts say that they're better for different activities. Let's start with physical sunscreen. Physical sunscreen, it's also called mineral sunscreen, that sits on top of your skin and kind of acts as a shield against the sun. Doctors say they're great for kids as they're a little bit less likely to irritate their skin. Physical sunscreens are known to be completely safe and effective, but sometimes they can be less pleasing to apply to the skin, especially in people with darker skin types because they might be a little harder to rub in. And then there's also chemical sunscreen, which oftentimes gets a bad rep, but dermatologists say it's actually totally safe and effective. Rather than sitting on top of your skin, chemical sunscreens are absorbed by the skin, meaning you'll need to give it about 10 to 15 minutes to let it sink in before going outside. These sunscreens also work a bit better in water and specifically sweat. So if you're a surfer, that's going to be your best bet. It's also going to be your best bet with scientists predicting our hottest summer in years. And you might be a little extra sweaty this summer. Now, how can you tell if your sunscreen is a physical sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen? Well, you're going to want to look on the back of your bottle. Look for the ingredient zinc oxide. If that's listed under active ingredients, you have a physical sunscreen. And I, I know that's kind of hard to remember. So we have a story up on WTKR right now. So you can tell the difference between the two and which one will be best for you and your family. And also remember, it's going to want to be above 30 SPF regardless of what kind you use. We're live at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Penny Commit, News 3.